That's right. You can now edit your full video podcast or solo content right from your phone. No more dealing with finicky timelines, pinching and zooming, and trying to cut and splice. Now you can edit via transcript, meaning actually edit your video and audio content like you're editing a Word document, deleting words, phrases, paragraphs, plus add animated captions, export that video, or just an audio file, all completely on your mobile device. And not only can you edit, but you can also record high quality content just with your phone and the Riverside app. I have an entire video showing that. You can check it out above or the links in the description. And once you're done recording your content, you can jump into the Riverside app here, both on iPhone, Android, or iPad. This is actually my video podcast. All the previous episodes are right here available in the app. I can jump to record here, or let's go to the last episode and let's actually edit this full length podcast. If you'd like, you can preview the full recording right here just by pressing play. And now we're previewing the full length video, but let's actually go to create a new edit and we can put it all together right here. We have multiple tools here at the bottom of the Riverside app. You can change the format. So if you're actually doing the full length video and you want to upload it to YouTube or Spotify for creators, we'll stick to the 16 by nine landscape view. But as you can see, you can quickly change that using the tool here if you want to create some short clips as well. Now, if we just need to set an in and out point, we can actually use the trim tool here on the left. And this is like you would expect. This is a normal setting the in and out point, but Riverside makes this even more powerful because as you drag those in and out points, you can actually see exactly where your clip will now start and end by the words being highlighted. As you trim the beginning, you'll see words disappear, letting you know that's exactly where the clip will start. In the same way, when you start dragging the end point, the words disappear as you drag that out point. And if you've already trimmed shorter than the full recording, you can just drag it all the way on the right side of the screen and Riverside will bring in more of your content from the recording. And if you're wanting to create a short form video that's exactly 30 seconds or 60 seconds, like you're gonna upload to YouTube Shorts, you can just tap 60 seconds. Riverside will trim the timeline down to exactly 60 seconds, allowing you to scan around your recording and get the perfect 60 seconds for a clip. Now, once you've set the in and out points, either for your full episodes or clips, now you can go into the cut tool and now you have the most precise editing you can get on a mobile device. You actually have multiple views. You can actually make the words smaller or larger and that actually helps you edit either less or more content. So if you wanna delete just individual words, you can actually select those individual words right here, click the delete button, and you can get precise editing just like that. Or you can tap this button to enlarge the words, and now you can select full paragraphs. This way you can delete more content faster and then go back down to the individual word editing. This is so much faster and easier than trying to scrub through a timeline here on your phone, dragging the in and out points, cutting your clips in the middle. Here you can focus on individual words or jump into paragraphs and edit your content much faster. You still have the preview down here in the bottom right. And when you play it, it will actually automatically scroll from the transcript and you'll see the video down there at the bottom. If you deleted something and you actually wanna bring it back, just tap the paragraph or word and then click restore and that will be brought back into this clip. Once you've cut everything you'd like, tap save up here and you've precisely edited your content. We can even add animated captions right here in the mobile editor by tapping captions. We can scroll through multiple presets. I'm gonna go with that style here. And we can even go in further to edit the font, the style, even the animation for the active word. Hit done. We can move the captions around the frame with a drag and drop editor right here on your mobile device. I can hit preview and now you'll see those animated captions all done right here with my transcript based editing on the Riverside mobile app. Once we've edited this clip exactly how we'd like, I can hit the share button and you can still export video quality up to 4K right here on your mobile device. You can upload that video to your YouTube studio or Spotify for creators and export an MP3 for your podcast host. Again, all right here from your iPhone, Android, or iPad. When you tap export video, we're gonna process that video in the background, making it high quality video and audio. And if we go back to recordings, you'll see all the clips that you've exported and magic clips you would have generated on desktop right here in the Riverside app. Once a clip is finished exporting, you'll see the exported tag there on the video. Now I can jump in and copy a link, send this to someone so they can download and publish it for me. And once you tap a social destination or to save it to your phone, you'll see the share sheet here. And now you can tap an app like Threads, TikTok, or Instagram, and it'll send the video directly there. And you can also save the video to your phone. This way you can publish it in whatever app you would like. 
All the way on the left, you can also just tap the save button here and it'll save to your camera roll. And now we have that clip saved on our device with our animated captions, screen shares we might've done while we were recording. And now I can share this on YouTube, Spotify for creators, Instagram reels, and more. And I've done it all from my iPhone, from the recording all the way to the publishing process. Now let's jump in and just create one 60 second short from our recording. I'm gonna start from scratch again. I'll go to a new edit. This time I'll leave the clip in this vertical format, but I'm gonna go to the trim section and I'm gonna choose 60 seconds because I wanna share this on every social media platform that has vertical video. Now I can scroll here in between the in and out point, or if I want, I can expand the transcript to make it full screen and I can go to exactly where I wanna share a clip from. Again, as you drag it left and right, you'll actually see where the clip starts right there under my name. I'm gonna go right to the beginning of this paragraph. I wanna start where it says iCloud passwords. So I've got it pretty much there, but I can go back, go into the paragraph editor, select this paragraph and remove it. Now it's gonna start exactly where I want. I can tap save. Now we have just under a 60 second clip, which is perfect. Let's add our animated captions. I'll choose this style here. I can move it around the frame to make sure it's not blocking anyone's face. I'll preview this clip. And just like that, we've created a 60 second short with animated captions, high quality video and audio right here from our phone. I'll hit the share button again, export this and save it to my camera roll. And then I can put it on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and all of those platforms. Now, if you also want to share these recordings and clips with someone like a social media manager, you can copy the little paperclip icon here on the recordings page. And that will give someone else access to download the clips, vertical videos, and full length videos that you had exported here in your studio. And those are the powerful editing tools right here on mobile or iPad using the Riverside app. And remember, you can record high quality and video again right here with your device. I actually have an entire video talking about the iPhone using USB microphones, lights, and how to get the best quality video and audio wherever you are. You can check out that video right up here. If you have any questions about recording or editing using the Riverside app, leave them below this video. I'll answer you personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel right here and hit that like button. New features are coming to Riverside all the time and we cover them right here. And we'll do walkthroughs and tutorials to make sure you're making the most of Riverside editor and studio. Plus, did you know you could live stream with Riverside to multiple platforms at the same time? We'll have an entire video talking about our live streaming tools like interactive lower thirds, audience mode, and audience live call-ins, and more. You can learn about our live stream tools in this video right here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.